Hey everybody, it's Zorta here and I am here to talk about um, a couple of palettes. Now, I don't have all three of them on me, but there are three palettes um, in this talk and it's also, um, these palettes are a bigger palette, which means that they're a great gift idea for Christmas, for birthdays, for whatever. Now, I'm talking about Christmas especially as it is coming up to Christmas. So I did think that these palettes would be a great option for anybody who is into makeup, anyone who's starting out, anyone who loves makeup, even for young kids to get them into maybe doing some makeup if that's okay. I'm not going to go talk to parents and be like, hey, get your kids makeup. Up to your parents. If you want to buy your kids makeup, you can buy your kids makeup. I'm not going to tell you to go and buy your kids makeup because that's not my decision as they are not my kids. Um, and I don't have any kids. I'm 24. But I do like to cater to kids as well if kids are, do like makeup. There's a lot of young kids that are 17, that are 13 and 14 getting into makeup, which is really cool. Um, it's kind of awesome to see that, you know, a lot of young kids are going in the direction um, and inspired by that as well. Okay, now, going on to the palette. This is actually a BYS palette. Now, I think late last year, they bought these palettes out. Um, also, BYS has changed their formula. I think it was late 2018 to 2019. Maybe they changed their formulas. Now, I don't mean like they sort of made a super change because they did have pigmented shadows before they changed the formula, but what I mean is they've changed the formula to be um, paraffin free and hypoallergenic, which is really good for people who do have allergies and are super sensitive and stuff like that. And paraffins uh, can be dangerous for skin as well, so I really do like that BYS has um, fixed, not fixed, I mean sort of come to changing that as well which is really good so every person can use this these products and like I said BYS are amazing they are Australian owned brands and they do a fantastic job of their makeup palettes their makeup palettes are so affordable and just over the price range I am obsessed with them like the price is great the quality of the shadows are great their shades are just adorable their collections are just so cute and they definitely keep you into the um, makeup world. <laughs> so on to this palette. Now there's three of them. Um, the first one that I picked up was the Capri palette. So this guy is a 28 piece, which means 28 shadows um, in this collection. And they are from super saturated mix of mattes and shimmers. So it means like there's some matte and some shimmer, which we all like a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of bling. Um, even like the matte shades are quite nice, but I always like to put a little bit of a sparkly shade into my makeup um, as well. So definitely, definitely um, an amazing palette. I will swatch every single shade in here for you. Um, so you guys can check it out and see what I'm talking about. Now, I did say that this is going to probably be a very long video. So let's go into the, maybe like this row first, and then we go down in different row. Maybe we'll go down like the columns, not the rows, the columns. So like this column, this column, this column. So it's just easier to swatch. So I'm going to go into this kind of nice nude shimmer shade. And we'll follow that down. So that's it there. I'm going to swatch it on my hand. Um, bear in mind that there is going to be times where I'm going to have a bit of trouble um, swatching all these. And they are going to... There's the next shade down. Then there's another really nice... Oh, that's another really nice sparkly shade that's more of a neutral shade. Like I said, if you are a neutral fan and you do love neutrals, like I said, I... Not much of a neutral fan. I do like them. I do think that they are stunning shades, but I like to experiment with some colour. And I love that this palette especially has, you know, colour in it as well, so it's not all just nudes. Um, I'm going to go down the second column, which consists of this really nice brown shade here, and I'll swatch that on my hand as well. Like I said, these are super pigmented. They are definitely very pigmented shades. With one swipe, they can just 
like I said, BYS has definitely, definitely made some really nice shades. There's this one here, which is like a more of a chocolatey color. Now, I'm telling you, check out that pigment. For one finger swatch, that is amazing. Um, the You'll even get maybe some after. The next one I'm going to go down with is this really nice shade here. I don't know if you guys can actually technically see it, but like I said, the pigment, the pigment is there. They're so pigmented. I am superly stunning. And then the last one of this column is like a copper, 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 copper. I mean, it's so hard to describe the shades, so I'm not going to describe the shades for you, just because it is a little harder to describe the shades. The next column down is this really nice gold shade. Oh, so pretty. I'll put that next to the copper shade. That is the gold one. The next one is a, like a really nice matte shade. And that's it there. The next one is like a... Really hard to describe this one actually. It's more like a blacky kind of mulberry, but not mulberry. Like it, like it, like it, it has a really nice sheen to it. So that's that one there. The last one of that column is this really nice uh, fire kind of brown. That's it there. So I'm going to now go on the back of my hand, which is this one here, and I'm going to swatch the next column down, which is consists of a really nice brown shade. That's it there. The next shade is a matte brown which is this one here. The next one is like a really nice um, ready brown. I don't know, it's really hard to describe what these shades are because there's so many of them that are just so nice. Like I said, I didn't really swatch into that one properly. Sorry about that. There's that one there. The last one of that column is like a really nice shimmer magenta not a magenta i don't know what you would call that it's nice though <laughs> so i don't know what you would call that one there you go sorry my swatching is a little bad i'm trying to swatch all of these for you and show you every single color so the next column down is a like a really nice dark brown uh, it's really hard to describe the shades and i apologize so this is a shimmery shade it's got some shimmer flex in it the next one is like a really nice um, grey but subtle shade. Almost invisible that shade is. <laughs> I mean it probably makes for a really nice transition shade actually. If you were to use that as a transition shade and then build it up, could definitely work. The next one is a sparkly one which is, that is so pretty, like a lilac -y shade. Oh, so pretty. And then the last one is a bit more of a darker purple sheen to it. And like I said, these don't have any names, I guess, because you can name them so many <laughs> names. It's really entirely up to you. Uh, and then the second last row column I meant, Jesus, um, is this color, which, oh my God, it's like a C color. It's really quite nice, actually. So that's it there. Don't know if you guys can see that very well. The next one down is like a really deep, deep emerald green. Like more like a sea green. Like like a sea. Like a bit like, like, what would you, a bit like Lime Crime's lipstick that they have. You know that really dark sea witchy kind of colour? I'd call that more like an emerald green. Not an emerald green. I don't know what you would call that. Um, the next one down is a really nice grey blue sheen, sparkle, like I said, some of these are just really hard to explain because they are such nice shades. And then the last one is a sh uh, shimmery black. Now, like I said, I have always been one of those people that love black shades. So like I said, I'm going to be definitely down for the black shade. There and then the last column is these ones here, which is a really nice blue, and I will swatch that 
there for you on my arm so you guys can see that. The next shade is more of a emerald green. This one's more of an emerald green. I guess I could call that the emerald green. There. The next one is more of a deeper blue shade, which is this one here. Like I said, they're very pigmented. I'm sorry if my swatches are a little out of hand. I just wanted to swatch all of them for you guys and show you all of the shades. And then this one's more of a glittery kind of black shade. So that's all of the shades swatched for you from the uh, Capri palette. Now to do the look, I hope you guys loved me swatching all of the shades so you guys get a better picture um, of what the shades actually look like because I would rather do this and show you every single shade in the palette than not show you. It's just, it's more, to me, it's more giving you full detail on the palette and letting you know that the palette and the shades are really pretty and they're really nice. Um, just because I don't want you guys to go and buy a palette and not like it. You know, like, you know what I mean? I would rather swatch them and show you what a colour looks like instead of you going and getting a palette and being like, oh, this was all the rage, you know, and then not knowing the shade range in it or what the shades look like. So that's why I do that for you guys. Now, um, I will be back with a, um, I'll do a separate look video with this palette. Um, but for now, I've swatched all of the shades in the Capri palette for you guys. I hope you absolutely loved all my swatches. I am full of, full of makeup swatches. <laughs> Um, also, I do it on my hands because it's easier to do because you can like show all of them type of thing. Like I find that here is a bit hard to swatch. That's why I'll never swatch here. I find that's a bit more harder to swatch. Um, and definitely I know that I may have taken this, um, this is what Jeffree Star does. But I think it's a really good idea the way he does it on his hands because it shows more and it's easier to show and I really like that idea that he's done. But yeah, so they are all the shades in the capri palette um hope you guys loved me swatching it and stay stay updated um i will definitely be filming a look with this palette and doing a look with it so i hope you guys loved me doing this i hope you guys uh stay alert and Hopefully you guys will see the look that I create with this. Um, I will definitely leave all, I'll leave the link to it down below in my YouTube, but I will also have it on IGTV for you guys anyway. So if you guys need to watch it, you can watch it on my IGTV anyway. Um, so uh, I hope you guys absolutely love this. Hope you have a nice night slash day. Hope you have a great holiday. If I don't get around to putting these up before Christmas, um, or I just want to say Merry Christmas. I'll say it now anyway because that's the right thing to do. So I hope you guys have an awesome Christmas. Um, I hope you have a safe Christmas. And yeah, have a safe one. Be with your family and your loved ones because that's what Christmas is about. Um, and I will see you guys on the next video. And yeah, I'll see you guys with my swatched hand. I'm waving. <laughs>